bear fruit. But if Christ breathes life into you, then yes, your new nature makes those new actions, makes that fruit possible. And we praise God for that. So my prayer is that everyone understands the gospel first and foremost. That's my prayer for this church, that everyone understands the gospel. Because the gospel is the key to everything. I was talking to the girls on Friday night, and we were talking about some things that, that you know people needed to work on, that they needed to work on, that I needed to work on. And what I told them is, honestly, what it really comes down to is understanding the gospel more and more. Because when you truly understand gospel, then you truly understand grace, you truly understand forgiveness, and it makes you want to live a life of forgiveness and grace. So that's my prayer, that those who are dead will understand the gospel and be made alive through Christ, and those that who are alive already may understand that their behavior, that there is hope that, that they that their behavior can change. Not because of simple morality, but because of actually understanding, wow, I'm forgiven. So that inward change is expressed outwardly. Let's pray. <coughs> Dear God, we thank you, Lord, for your word. We thank you, Lord, for your grace. And most importantly, we thank you, Lord, for Jesus Christ and the gospel that he brings forth. Thank you for your forgiveness and allowing us, Lord, to come before you and you accepting us. And instead, looking at us as righteousness because you have imputed our sinfulness into your Son. And you imputed His righteousness into our account. So we thank you, Lord, for your grace. We thank you, Lord, for your forgiveness. I pray, dear God, for conviction. I pray to your God that those who are still dead in their trespasses, that those who are still living in sin, may understand your gospel. That they will be made alive. That they will just understand just your grace and, and that truth of turning away from their sins will be made real. I pray to your God that, that people leave here just more in tune with your grace. They may understand it in a deeper way and it's only made possible if they understand who you are. So I pray to your God that you will reveal yourself to them because apart from your work they will never want to know you. So I pray to your God that you may reveal yourself to them just like you revealed yourself to Paul on the Damascus Road. Please reveal yourself to them in their lives that they will come to the same knowledge of who you are and spend and want to spend and treasure an eternity with you. I pray to your God that you may continue to teach us, Lord, how to imitate you, how to be more like you, that your spirit may continue to work in our hearts. Thank you, Lord, for giving us a new nature and new life. And all this is I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm.